fantastic to have you with us for this week's brand new episode of Farmer's Kitchen, presented by Spinney's here at the Pachika Food Hall. We're filming in the kitchens at Mamalu, where we are surrounded by inspiration all the way through to Pachika, but our main source of inspiration today is right next to me. We have got Karine Annie with us. She has built a hospitality empire, for want of a better phrase, with her husband, Chef Izu Ani, with restaurants from DIFC to Emirates Golf Club, including, of course, Kareen, which was <laughs> named for you. You are a pastry chef and we're going to be using, well, Orit Mohammed's beautiful Boon coffee, which has been whipped up for today's mystery dish. Let's have a quick look at what we've got. We've got gelatin, cream, coffee as well. So can you tell us what are you making today, chef? We'll be making a tiramisu. So one of the most beloved dishes. I think I know so many people who look at a dessert menu and go, yeah, tiramisu. Yeah. <laughs> it truly is. What do you think it is about tiramisu that people just love? I mean, for me, I love coffee, so tiramisu is my go-to. I really, I, I just love coffee. It's the creamy, the coffee, the sweet, and all balanced in one dish, which is absolutely amazing. So. And today we're doing a special chocolate sauce as well. Yes, we are. So what's not to love? Coffee, cream, sugar, eggs. This is not a breakfast dish. This is not <laughs> a light dish. This is decadent and delicious. And yes, you might have seen it on restaurant menus, but this is something you can very much create at home using those Spinney's ingredients. We're going to show you exactly how. The coffee smells amazing. It does. I know you've known Orit for a long time and you make coffee together and you bake together and, you know, coffee and dessert, there's no better combination. Exactly. So what is it about the coffee that you are looking for as a chef? Do you, do you mind the origin? Do you mind the flavour? Me, yes, I do because I love uh, Boon coffee. I love the on wash coffee, which I usually prefer kaffa as uh, a coffee. And I just like my coffee very strong. Mm -hmm. Most people might like it a bit less strong, but especially in this recipe, it's maybe better to put it a bit stronger with a bit of sugar so it kind of adds the sweetness to it. Let's add the sugar into this coffee. Oh, I hope Orit yes. won't mind. <laughs> So as you say, it is about celebrating the ingredients it, yeah. today. So going into the bowl, and it's still hot. It's still hot. And this is important to help the sugar dissolve. Yes, very important. So we've got 500 ml of the coffee, and, and then about 100 grams okay, of e sugar. Easy to remember then. Yeah. One to five. Uh, we'll give it a little mix. So we really want the beautiful flavours to come through today. This is perhaps not the time to be doing your instant coffee, although I suppose in a push you could... This is about having the best of the best. So that's going in there. Yes. When you think about tiramisu, is it a complicated dish to make or is it just a case it, of breaking down the different parts? It is not. It's just you need a little bit of time because you need all your ingredients to be cold and then it has to go back into the chiller to mm. be nice and cold before you actually plate it. How long have you been a pastry chef yourself? Uh, I love baking. Uh, it's been a couple of years now, but uh, I'm not an actual... I'm not really working mostly in the kitchen. It's mostly from home for friend, family. I usually bake a lot Which on is weekend. what everybody else does, right? Yes. We're not in the kitchens at Gaia no, or Karina exactly. or, you know, Fika. It's uh, my kitchen at home, so... And that's exactly what it's about today. It's about seeing the ingredients that you see on the shelves at Spinney's and making something beautiful for your family and friends. Exactly. So what do your kids like? What are some of their favourites that you make? They, they prefer more simply cupcakes and cookies and muffins and... But my oldest son loves cheesecake. So that's usually the thing I usually do. He loves cheesecake. So, so your husband, Izu, has his a signature is, is kind of cheesecake. Every yes. restaurant he has been at that I have known in Dubai, yes. the cheesecake is the one thing I look for on the yes. menu. But if you notice in each restaurant, the cheesecake is always slightly different. It might There's have like a, a little passion fruit on the top. Yes. Or There's always different kind of ingredients to kind of make them all different in their own way. So. And we love it to the point where it was our wedding cake. Yay. And it be, you know, we will, for a special occasion, go anywhere where that cheesecake is on the menu because for me and my husband, that's like our dish. Yes. So I need to pick your brains on cheesecakes <laughs> as well. So the sugar is dissolving beautifully in the coffee. What yes. do we need to do next, Chef? We're going to have to put the gelatin in the cold water. It has to be cold. Okay. So we need to leave it set for about I don't know, five minutes or so. And how many sheets have you put in there? I put two and a half. Two and a half. And this is just to help things set. Kind of get together, yes. So this is going to dissolve nicely over the yes. course of about five minutes. Great. Now, what is tiramisu without cream? Exactly. So we're <laughs> what is a French pastry chef without cream? 
especially French. Absolutely. So we've got the, the cream. So we're going to put it in a KitchenAid. Should we attach this onto here for you, Chef? Yes, if you can, please. Okay. Yeah. And then we're just going to mix it for on medium for about two minutes, three minutes. Let that do its thing. Okay, Chef, you happy with this cream? Yes, I am. Okay, perfect. So, cream has been whipped. It's still workable. It's not lumpy. It's going to be ready to have some ingredients added very shortly. Coming up, our gelatin soaking. Our coffee is infusing with sugar. We're going to get some eggs going, bringing it all together for that beautiful tiramisu with Chef Kareen. Stay with us. Today it's all about dessert as we're joined in the kitchen here to Pachika by Chef Karine Ani. She is one half of that duo who's built an incredible restaurant empire. Her and her husband, Chef Izu, as part of Y77 Hospitality. And it's all about tiramisu. We've got a beautiful boon coffee from Orit Mohammed, who has an outlet right here at the Pachika, so couldn't have been more useful. We've added sugar to that, gelatin here soaking really nicely in that cold water. Our cream is whipped up, that's gone in the fridge to make sure we can use it later. Chef, what's next? Next, we're going to put egg yolk in the KitchenAid to whip it. And then we're going to... Uh, let me get this one on. So How many egg yolks? It's two egg yolk. About, yeah, four. And what are you looking for? When it will needs we know to it's be ready? really pale and kind of getting... The volume, it kind of went up a bit, so... So we're really looking to get the air in it? Yes. So okay. it's going to take a while for that. We'll leave our eggs so to do its thing. So while we're doing this, we're going to... Uh, start measuring for the water. So the water, we're going to get it on the scale, set it to zero with the pan on. Yes. And how much water do we need, Chef? And we need uh, 15. Because okay. I've reduced it. Are we making a little sugar syrup? Yes, exactly. Which is one of those things that sounds really chefy okay, to make a sugar syrup, and that might be for drinks or for desserts, but yes. it really is just water and sugar. Exactly. <laughs> so don't be afraid. Sugar. So 15 mils of water going in. And 87. So it's going to be yes, we're gonna really have sweet. I'm going to have to add a bit more water just to make sure that it's not too thick. But for now, I'm just going to put it as it is and judge by how thick it is. I think the, the thing with pastry um, is it's more of a science, it's more exact. Yes. You know, you think about the really specific quantities and I think while some people perhaps would find that a little bit intimidating, it's actually a lot easier to get into the, yes. into the kitchen with pastry or baking because you just, don't, you just do what you're told. Yes, does exactly. that make sense? It does, it does. It's, uh, it's, more, it, it's easier because you have the quantity, you have the instruction, and you just make it. Can I have a little look? Yes. I might add a tiny so bit of water. And this is caster sugar? Yes. So just creating a bit of a paste here with the sugar and water. Just a tiny bit more, so it's not too thick. So and this is going to go onto the heat? Yes. Are you happy with that, or a little yes. bit more? No, it's fine. So we, I'm going to take my thermometer as well, because we need to boil it to 116 degrees. See, it's so precise. Yeah. <laughs> okay, turning our egg down, and as you wanted, it got a bit more volume to it, a bit paler, it's got that air in it. And the sugar syrup, now really viscous, everything's dissolved beautifully take it off the heat so it doesn't burn. Yes, exactly. <laughs> so what's going into our egg mixture, Chef? Now we're going to put the syrup that we just made. We need to keep it, we need to keep whisking and just pour it very, very slowly on the side of the kitchen. I'm going to let you do that. <laughs> Sounds like a professional <laughs> job. Because you don't want to burn yourself. So you go very, very slowly. What 
else is going to be going into this? Into this We're going to put the mascarpone and the vanilla. Okay. Okay, great. Is there anything we can be doing now while that's combining? We can start with the vanilla already. Okay. So I always flatten it and then I open it in half. So flatten it just so it's easier to work yes, with? Yes, exactly. And then I open it in half and I put my knife through it so I get all the seeds out. Look at that. So it comes out like a paste almost. Yes, exactly. That looks absolutely gorgeous. So okay. I will put this one on my mascarpone here that I already measured at. How and much mascarpone do we need? Here is 250. Okay. And then I yeah, don't waste any of no, that vanilla. You don't want to waste any of it. So. Egg there is combined beautifully with our sugar syrup. We're going to let that hang out for a little while because we need to get those lady fingers exactly. soaking up that beautiful coffee. So what do yes. we need to do? So I'm going to wear my gloves. I have got clean hands. <laughs> but you are going to be the one... Uh, Putting my fingers in the coffee. Exactly. So. <laughs> exactly. It's easier that way. And we are going to put some mascarpone in this, but once it goes in, we need to be quick. So let's, yes. do, let's do our lady fingers first. So we're going to suck them for about three seconds, really. You don't want to be too much. It's just a quick dunk. Because you want the crunchiness still inside after that. Yeah, we don't want them to be falling apart on exactly. the plate. They need to have some kind of structural integrity. Exactly. And as you say, I can even see it hasn't soaked all the way through. We're just going to be getting that flavour, getting that sweetness. Exactly. So, we've got everything pretty much ready to go, Chef. Yes. Now, what we need to do, having a quick look at the gelatin, it hasn't completely dissolved. It's got lovely and translucent, so we need to yes. get that truly ready for the mix. Exactly. So I'm going to put some of the cream that was from the, the mix before. I put it in a pan, put my gelatin in, just dissolve it on, in the fire, and then it'll be ready to go into the mix. It just needs an extra bit of heat. Exactly. Okay, you get on with that. And just a quick reminder, these are our lady fingers that have been soaked in that coffee. We've got our vanilla pod that's been open sliced, taking that beautiful vanilla paste through, and that's going to be mixing with mascarpone. And we've just got our cream out of the fridge. This is not overworked, it's not overly lumpy. It's ready to go into. So take this away for you, Chef. And those free range eggs mix in with the sugar syrup too. Beautiful, pale, and fluffy. So time to get that a little mixed through. And our mascarpone and vanilla are going to go in with our eggs. Yes. How long will it take, do you think, on the heat there? Um, I usually do it in a microwave, so it's about 30 seconds. But okay. here it's very quick because it's been, the gelatin was soaked for quite some time, so it's already soft. Great. So it's just really to incorporate it so all it's together. Break down. It's almost done anyway here. So. I like that you're not, you know, not precious about using a microwave. I think no. <laughs> when you have family, you know, it's, it's whatever's to hand, right? Exactly. That's it. A quick look at that. So there we go. Gelatin disappeared completely. Take it off the heat. Yes. Oh, I'll switch it off. Take it off the heat. And then we will start to put the mascarpone inside our mix of egg yolk and, um, and uh, syrup. So we will put it inside. Can I ask you, you know, obviously you and Izu both accomplished cooks, chefs. Who cooks at home? For the family? It has to be me because he's too busy at work. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, we won't be eating. What are the kind of things you would make for family dishes at home? I like really traditional kind of French recipes, which are more like gratin dauphinois or big dishes like lasagna. And that's really my go to, mm -hmm. and my kids love it. So it's something I really do a lot at home. Just normal family food? Yeah, exactly. So we're just going to mix it a little bit. See the vanilla paste breaking down. Yes. Go. It smells like that beautiful kind yes. of French pastry cream. Exactly. I'm excited for this. So I think we're ready to go. Let me okay. just switch it off. You come around this way, yes. give a little mix. Yes, we're gonna put the gelatin. 
And as you can see, it just, it's not even uh, viscous, it's just a beautiful no, kind exactly. of silky liquid. Exactly, so we're going to keep on mixing for now. And will it need to set in the fridge before serving? Yes, it has to be nice and cold before you serve, yes. And then we're going to mix it with our previous cream that we did earlier, that was chilling in the fridge. Take that for you. that so you can see beautiful vanilla seeds just cutting all the yes. way through so we're going to add the cream bit by bit or yeah, all at the same time no just a little bit at once and then we're just going to kind of mix it all together i honestly don't know what my guests would do if i serve this at a dinner party apart from ask which restaurant i'd ordered it from <laughs> but i think that is the lovely thing about having dinner parties isn't it you know you want to put that time aside yes and i'm really impressed by actually how simple this is it is very simple. And, you know, with, with pastry, if you're organised, if everything to hand, it's just yes. a case of putting it together. Could you prepare this, you know, a day in advance and then exactly. go in the fridge? Exactly, absolutely. So there we go, our so cream is mixed through. There we through. go, yes. So we need to keep it in the fridge okay. to get really nice and chilled. Perfect. And put it in a piping bag and then we are ready to assemble. Perfect, let's get it in the fridge. Yep. So we've got this, we've got our lady fingers which have been soaked in that beautiful coffee. And... You have got a very <laughs> chefy looking piping bag, but you can just get from Spinney's the, the clear piping bags. Exactly. Snip off the end. That's it. Easy to go. And as you said, this is your chocolate sauce you prepared earlier, just in some hot water in that squeezy bottle to loosen it up. So when we yeah. touch, exactly. it is going to. Do you like to take that out? Yeah, because I don't want it, it to be, be too, too hot. hot. So I'll just, yeah, I'll just remove it from there and we're ready to go. So what's next, chef? So How quickly can I eat this tiramisu? <laughs> so after it's everybody's choice the way they want to present it, but I will just put like three lady fingers at the bottom and then... Uh, then I will just kind of get my tiramisu mixture on top. This looks amazing. So do you have a sweet tooth yourself? I'm afraid I do. Don't be afraid of it, what are you <laughs> talking about? What's your go-to? What's some of your favorites on the menu? Uh, I kind of like everything. <laughs> that must be so nice to be able to try things, experiment. Exactly. The last time I was at Korean, the, the dish that really blew my mind was your amazing, uh, like a lemon mousse curd. So it looks like yes. a lemon. Exactly. It looks exactly like a lemon. And then you crack it open. Is it yes. like, a, like a chocolate casing, like a white chocolate? Yes. Oh my it's, goodness. It, it was is amazing. So stunning. And we're going to put another two like this on top. After it's, like I said, it's everybody's choice what they want to do, different style. It's absolutely fine. And then I will make it on this side. And then the addition of that lovely chocolate sauce can't yes. wait that's it Up. just to have them everywhere so we're gonna have this Green. i'm gonna have my chocolate powder as well so we can put some on top it's a little chefy touch at the end exactly so Oh, that looks okay. absolutely beautiful. Really so there. layering, sieving that cocoa powder over the whole dish. And then, what's better than just chocolate? Some more chocolate. Exactly. So you just kind of... Uh, just a little, little bit drizzle. Little drizzle on it. And that's it. Chef, pass me a spoon. Can't wait. Thank you so, so much. Okay, I'm going in. So, as we said, we only dunk those lady fingers into the coffee for a matter of seconds. Yes. So, as you can see, 
still a little bit of a uh, bit of give in the middle. Coffee's just on the outside. Wow. <laughs> I'm really it like it. It's not overpowering. No, no. It's not. It's just soft and yielding and warming. Exactly. But if you want to do this for the family, instead yeah. of having small portion, you can just get a baking tray and just have many of the first layer of uh, lady fingers. Like a, like a tiramisu lasagna. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. You can do that. So you can have a nice shaving uh, tiramisu for the whole family. Chef, thank you so much for coming in it and sharing pleasure. your insights. This is something I truly would try at home because it's everything, very easy. everything's available easily. Yes. It's just a, a case of maybe making a couple of elements ahead of time, putting it together when those people come over. Really appreciate it. Thank you so, so much. Thank you very much. And I'm now going to take this off. There's going to be no sharing today. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget, we love to hear from you here on Farmer's Kitchens. Is there any dishes, any, any chefs that you'd like to hear from? Do get in touch. Reach out. 4001 on the SMS. The ARN Play app is there for you as well. More ideas, more inspiration coming up on future episodes of Farmer's Kitchen presented by Spinney's with me, Helen Farmer, here on Dubai Eye 103.8. Have a great day.